Some girls survive on their sorcery alone. It's a book of poetry by Theria Nurse. So, I thought I still had a screenshot of something I wanted to read. Apparently not. Okay. No, I think that's for something else. Wait. Uh, okay. Their nurse writes that she is running hard fast and away from uh, elegy, uh, but with the tremendous vigorous energy of her language, she runs right at danger, pain, suffering, and heartache. In her poems, vulnerability to other strengths, sub subject subjection uh, to others' power, racism, and a defense of one's own sexual integrity are vivid, threatening realities. She defeats such hazards by articulating them in dazzling images and metaphors. Um, encompasses, she encompasses an extraordinary range of experience and feeling with her splendid, rousing, uh, expressive powers. She draws us into a, a visionary fever of remarkable engagement with life and language. Okay, so, um, yeah, she, she, um, so in the table contents, um, of the poems, um, so, yeah, she gets the table contents of the poems, the books of poetry that I've, um, have written, have read from Neck Alley, um, don't have a table of contents, um, it just goes into, uh, well, the Amanda Lovelace ones has, like, um, table contents of, like, the categories, but not, um, a table contents of each poem. Because so I think not all of them have, like, a title to it. Um, but, whatever. Um, it's, it's not a lot of, uh, not a lot of poems, it's a quick go-through. Um, but... You are looking at long poems in this book, and um, I didn't really like the poems um, that were in in here. Um, I don't think I connected or related to the poems, or didn't like the um, length of them. Um, so that might have um, been why I was put off by um, this collection, but. Yeah, for some, um, this could be their favorite collection of poems, but, <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, some Girls Survive on Their Sorcery Alone by Tara Nurse. Happy readings.